Hi, this is DH Dunn, and I'm here to ask myself a question. Maybe for the last time, this specific question. Can I lope 10 days in Hush River Valley? We're on day nine, I want to say. Let's see if I'm right. And I want to caveat that. Yeah, nine days, 15 hours. We, we've got to survive, you know, another, another nine hours. Um, but I'm going to caveat that by saying I don't think this series is done. I mean, it's it's done, obviously, haha. -ha. But um, I don't think we're finished with this. But I do want to get to the ten days. But I'd like to continue this uh, and just kind of nail down HRV. I don't yet know how I want to continue it, and I have talked about continuing series before and then not actually executed on it. So it will depend on view counts and how much interest there is in seeing me once a week or so, you know push this farther and just continue to learn HRV. I'm very excited that yesterday we were able to solve a problem with map knowledge, that we were able to get back to this waterfall cave, which now I have to go through again. I almost want to go the other way, but I like that there's a route from the entrance to um, the exit of HRV. Like, I got from there to here. But I don't know that I want to go through the waterfall. I'm very nervous about these pants. These pants are taking an absolute beating. I wonder if I switch them. I've never done anything like this. Are the 3% on? No, they're not. 3% are on the inside. We're going to lose those pants, I think. Um, we may have to take these off again. Match situation. Not amazing. 17. Torch situation. Good. Um, we'll harvest a few torches here quick. I think I'm going to head back into the cave. Because I don't want to go through the waterfall. And have to warm back up. Unless I have like a ton of coal. I do kind of have a ton of coal. But it will take me to, will it? Mm. Can I see the exit from here? Ooh, sticky sticks. Okay, did I just get her shoes all wet? All right, all right, all right, Astrid, we'll do it. Will you talk to me into it, Astrid? Okay, we're gonna go through the waterfall. Oh. Oh, it's too cold to the sink. I'll warm you back up. We need to understand the relationship between this area and the exit. Come on, little fire. And I found yet another cave that I hadn't discovered yet. I have to have found them all by now. I don't know, though. I don't think the one I found even had a name. Try to preserve that coal. Is this going to get warm enough? Do we have any drinks? We will in a minute. How are we doing on food? Problem is that my wandering last night from the entrance down to here, it, I don't really know how well I know the route I took, um, but we could try to reconstruct it. We could also just run up and down the river here a bit and see 
again, try to nail down what, what, what's connected to what. Um, let's finish warming up, though, before I do any of that. There is a wolf down that way. I know which way I meant when I said that way. <laughs> that way. It takes a while to really hammer things into my brain. My brain is like, um, like one of those, um, mattresses. What are those called? Uh, memory foam. My brain is like memory foam. You can push something into it, but it pushes it back out. You got to keep making the depression of information for it to stay. Oh, that other one wasn't done, huh? What happened? I screwed one of those up, I think. Yeah. No problem. What's our weight? We have tons of weight. Let's make just like an hour of... No, 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 no. No, an hour of water. No. The water. It's right there. There. I'm running a risk of the weather shifting here. But... I'm gonna roll with it. Hey, deploy the T's. I got my deploy the T's mug. And there's all the T's being deployed. Nice. Um, please finish. Okay, we'll take you. And you. And you. We'll drink you. That treatment did nothing. It warmed me up. That's not nothing. Okay, wait. I want to go this way. There's the Burbank I, uh, I picked up. I like leaving fires burning sometimes to give me somewhere to run to if I need to. Now, I definitely came in from here. Don't worry about me, Wolfie. I, I, I ran under this thing, but I don't know that you can go up this way. Let's find out. Okay, you can. Not the best visibility for intel gathering. TBH. That's a wolf there. Kind of just want to know what's around here. Got some more cattails. You know how I like those. Packed with flavor, cattails really satisfies. I actually... <laughs> one of my... Um, Regulars on Twitch has sent me cattail recipes, like a whole bunch of them. And we do have cattails near my house. I've never had one, though. I did see a funny YouTube of someone trying to eat the cattail head. They kind of explode if you open them. All right. Keep your bearings. Okay. Remember how to get back. It's right over there. Right over there. And I remember these four um, saplings. Now, I doubt these saplings are a landmark that I can repeatedly use. I see some tarmies there as well. This is this wasn't my plan. My plan was to try to get back to the entrance again. I don't really like that plan anymore. I really don't have a strong idea of which way to go from here. Despite the fact that I may have just done it two episodes ago. 
So, I kind of just want to get this area around this waterfall cave. Now, I should, if I follow this river, can I get back down? I kind of want to get back down. I love me some damn sticks. Astrid, please, please, please don't sprain. Please don't sprain. Thank you. What if you had a torch that wasn't terrible? What would that feel like? Okay, so we've got this little cascading situation here. Does it have a name? Probably not, because we're in Hushed River. I mean, that's a stair step there. We know if we head back that way, we're going to get back to our um, cave and our fire. And even though it's all right riding around in the breeze, it looks like this is the end of the line. Or is it? No, this is to the other entrance. Yes, I know this. I know this. Wait, did I go buy it? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes. But is this the same ice cave? These ice caves confuse the hell out of me. I am going to start a fire here just to keep my match going while I go map. Unless I've already mapped here. If I have, I have. Life goes on. Told you guys, I'm in the no regret phase of my life. No regrets. You make mistakes, you move on. Here, here's a torch for you. Don't say I never did anything for you. Ha! So that's a twin. Twin sisters. Oh, we're close to twin sisters. Interesting. Okay. Let's hang out here and warm back up. Take that. I'm feeling red today. There's some cherry tea. Can you... Can you... Work with me here. Oh. I don't really need you... Well, I do need you to keep burning, actually. So that my torch keeps burning. Unless I just drink one of these now and leave. I could go back to the other fire. Let's do that. Let's do that. We'll wait for this to finish. Two minutes. We'll take that. So if I hang out here too long, the weather is liable to change. Oh, that torch is terrible. There's a torch. I mean, it's okay. Never going to pick that up. Never going to let it down. I'm just full of the song references today. <laughs> Referencing um, 
the Rickroll is, is kind of, that's just, you know, lazy, lazy comedy. By all accounts, near as I can tell, very nice man, Rick Astley. I've seen several interviews with him, and he seems like a nice guy. I generally assume people are nice until they give me a reason to think otherwise. That eh, may be naive of me, but so be it. But yeah, seems like a good dude. <laughs> I saw him do a cover of... Oh my gosh, I want to say it's You Shook Me All Night Long by ACDC, maybe? Like, something like that. And it was pretty freaking great. Like, I saw him do a cover that Rick Astley should never be doing, and it super worked. And he was so into it. I think he was drumming in it. I may have to try to find that. No. If I'm right, we should end up back at the waterfall cave if i'm wrong i'm very concerned because that means i have no understanding of how this works and we probably will run into a wolf on our way there unless he's moved on to wolfier pastures but i may have done this wrong no nope, there he is are we we're green green to go The light is green. The trap is clean. You're fine. Yeah. Look, I'm not going to hurt you. You don't hurt me. Everything will be fine. I'll take a stick. Don't reset right near me, though. I don't know if they can. I'm not sure that I've ever had that happen. I think there might be code to prevent it. Hi, honey. I'm home. How much time left on this? Not much. Well, we'll throw another coal in here for more exploration. And... Worm this... Warm these back up. That one's already warm, but we'll uh, do that anyway. Maybe uh, have a few crunchy uh, cheddar-flavored cattails. Cheddar or Cool Ranch? Which would be better? I really wish the fog wasn't uh, happening. I think I think I might be making different decisions if the fog wasn't present, but I want to be really careful not to get lost. So we know now that that you can go from one ice cave entrance to another. I don't know if they're the same ice cave though. I kind of think they're not. Okay, and then we have this split the split thing. And after the split thing, okay, when it's not foggy, I think this is the my route to the way out. Because you go through the split, you go through the little nooch. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to test this when it's not foggy. I grabbed some cattails, but I think I've tapped this. Amazingly. Like a locust. <laughs> I am stripped of this place clean. Okay, I'm going to head back to that cave we just were at. Not the waterfall one. I want to confirm that that cave is what I think it is. We'll see Wolfie Boy again. 
Cause I don't think I don't think he has a way to get out. Yeah, where are you? We're still good, right? Yeah. Okay. Light is green. Trap is clean. Don't go with me. Their whimpers always sound so sad. <laughs> Just like the bear. When the bear is scared, I always feel bad for him. Dude, didn't we just do this? You have zero... You're me. You have no memory whatsoever. Zero short-term memory. Please stop going the same way I'm going. Please, I beg of you. Oh, great. I made a fun friend. I missed this cave. I forgot about this one. Yeah. It's so easy to walk by the caves. I wondered if coal had respawned. There's no reason it would. But you never know. I'll take a bug that works in my favor. Remember the, 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 the infinite coal stuff where you could get, it's not infinite, but where you could get like seven or eight coals off the same coal? That was awesome. Okay, dude, now, now see, you confused me. Now you got me all flipped up, turned upside down. Okay, the cave needs to be on that side of me, okay. How many more times are we going to do this? Yes, dude. Okay, this is a much, much farther walk than I thought. Please don't reset right now. Please don't reset right now. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a much farther walk than I thought. Now, what I want to do, if this is the other ice cave, which I think it is, then I want to be able to take this back to the other entrance, which is very near a spawn point. God, I wish I had a good torch. I wish I had a mega torch. This is the way to the rope. I think I marked it with that. If I turned back around and I'm headed back the way I came, I'm sorry. Uh, nope. Wait. Now I gotta... Okay, nope, definitely didn't. I'm gonna leave all this here. Um, gotta remember there could be a wolf in here. Are you? No. You're a stone. 
You're a coal. Look at you, okay, see. Take you for a quick walk here. Show me what I want to see. Don't show me where I just came from. I'm a little worried. I'm very worried. No, this is what I want. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. I'm very excited. Okay, hang on a second. Roll with me here. Okay, so right up there. Right up there is one of the main places that you can spawn an HRV, right there. So you hop down here. I already know to run across the log, go across, there's a cave pretty much for a straight shot from here where you can get matches. Then you come back in here, you grab your rose hips, you come in, we're gonna do the whole show. We're gonna see if I can get out of HRV from a spawn point. I am going to start a fire here and put a little coal in so that I just so I can get more torches. You can go through this cave, get to the rope, go up. It's pretty much a straight shot to the signal fire. Come on, the downside is you can't get back. That puts you into the bowl. Now I know that's the bowl. Oh yeah. But if I can get to Hushed River from the bowl, I can find the waterfall cave. And if I can find the waterfall cave. And I can get out of here. Because I'm pretty sure I know how to get out from the waterfall cave. We're going to prove that right now. So we're going to go from spawn point to exit. I really hope. I'm trying to get good torches here. Many of these are terrible. That is a rock. This is way too many torches. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving that fire going so that I won't head back this way. I just hope the weather works with me. I do not have this cave memorized by any stretch of the imagination, so. It could be a little trial and error to get back to the other exit. That's one of the reasons I left the fire going. I did leave this area with a whole bunch of junk on it. I think I take a right up here. Yup, because there's nowhere else to go. I have the single cattail head that points the way to the rope climb, which is not what I want. I will again say how much I love this music. I love how it fades out too. Oh, guys, I'm excited. I am excited. I am excited. Very quick fire here just to warm up teas. <laughs> wow. Spawn, on, get stuff, exit. That's all I want from HRV. And that waterfall cave is actually, I think, really close. No, that's a different cave. Different cave. Never mind. Don't, don't listen to me. Um, no. Tease, 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 tease. Where are you? Just the one. Fine. Okay. More torches. That's good. Astrid, please do not start with the whole I'm hungry thing. Okay. I'm on a roll here. I'm very excited. Don't ruin this for me.
Damn it. <laughs> Time of day. We're off. We're completely in the green. We have good visibility. It is not currently snowing. We have a full tank of gas, 75 miles to Chicago, and we're wearing sunglasses. Let's hit it. Okay, we know that. God, the urge to run is just huge, but not taking it. I'm submitting a request for no bears, please. Okay, there is a cave on the right after a little bit. I'm testing my knowledge here. I know it's there. We just saw it. It's right there. Okay. So we got the, like, the waterfalls that are kind of like a staircase. Then we have this cave on the right. Next up will be a wolf. Uh, there's a rope climb. But I don't want that rope climb. So there's, you know, I, I'm thinking about also on a regular loper run, I could now use some of the knowledge that I've gained to come into HRV, get some things done, and then leave. Okay, please go the other way. Other way. Other way. Other way. No, oh, I'm shithead. <laughs> it's just the most annoying wolf ever. He just wants a friend. He's just lonely. He's the golden retriever of wolves. I'm gonna call you Max. My son has a golden retriever named Max. The dog is obsessed with loving everyone. It is so important to him that he says hi to anyone he sees. He's got just the purest heart. We were watching uh, my granddaughter uh, maybe about a week ago. And every time she would get upset, Max would just lose it. He would start howling along with her. Dude, could you please go that way? Thank you. We'll see you later, Max. So yeah, basically one of us is holding the baby, the other one's holding the dog. Because the dog is just like, the baby is upset. I don't like it. Okay, so we go through this thing. And then there's an angle up. This is where it might get a little fuzzy. I think we go over a tree bridge. Yes, yes, yes. There is the tree bridge. I head through this path. There's the stair steps. Let's keep going, keep going. All right, so now I think in my brain this is a little wrong. You have to go to the left of these and then go over the blog. 
In my brain, you could just go straight up from the right, but I don't think you can. You can probably come down that way, because you can just go down the side, but... I gotta get across this thing. I think it's pretty smooth sailing from here unless I'm very wrong about where I am. It wouldn't be the first time. But I will be surprised. Man, if this works on Twitch... I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna spawn an HRV. I'm like, I'm just gonna keep re-rolling until I get that spawn, and then I'm gonna go, guys, look what I can do. Look what I can do now. I can spawn an HRV and leave. Talk about achieving your objectives. Far more than wanting to live 10 days, I wanted to make HRV a survivable region for me, where if I spawned there, I could get something done and get out. If I went in there, I could leave. We don't have the whole map under control, not at all. No more than we did Blackrock. But I can live here. I can survive here. You know, it's not just a maze of canyons and trees and, and, and caves and rivers anymore. I know places I can go. I have landmarks that I can say, okay, I'm here, which means I know I can get there. Uh, it feels great. It really feels great. I'm so happy and proud. I'm proud of myself. This is a major, major breakthrough for me. This is right up there with my first bear kill, or my first moose kill, or my first summit. Being able to go from a spawn point to the exit on HRV, knowing how to get to both um, uh, of the uh, signal fires. Very, very happy. So we're going to go in the cave here. We are going to check our time. And there it is, the answer to the question. Can I lope 10 days in HRV? I'm very proud to say, is an unqualified yes. Not only can I survive 10 days in HRV, I actually can get around a little bit now. So I am interested in continuing this series on a sporadic basis, just to continue to unlock HRV, to continue to, to you know, burn in these different paths but that is going to do it for this one uh thank you so very much for supporting me on the series and for encouraging me to do this next up on our deep dives will be forsaken airfield but uh we will have a new challenge coming out next week and we will from time to time pop back into hrv just like we do with nagoa uh that's gonna do it for me for today if you can do the youtube stuff like comment subscribe i really really appreciate it they really really help me and i really get a lot out of it I'll be back tomorrow with more adventures in the long dark. Until then, stay safe, take care of each other, enjoy Hush River Valley, and I'll see you next time.